All right. Do we have other uh, sister? Sister Sheila raised raised it before you, so I know I know you're faster than her, but she raised it before. I have two, but they're not going to keep that long. Okay then. Oh. Ah, okay then. Okay, so let me try to make sure I understand that. So Caleb was 80 years old yep. when he the, the whole land was fully conquered, correct? Or, I don't know. It okay, says, then. It says that he, was, he, he went to go. He said, give me that mountain. I'm just as strong as I was 40 years correct, ago. Correct, and that's Joshua's time. Now, you mentioned about 40 years. Yeah. You mean 40 years because from Caleb's statement, or you mean the wandering in the wilderness? Well, how long did it take for them mm -hmm. all the time to compare their land? Gotcha. Okay, then. So the thing is, I don't really know exactly the amount of years on how long it took their land. But then it sounds like to me from your question that there's something confusing over, uh, that there's confusion because how old is Caleb, right? Yeah. And then how long it took, yeah, then because then he must be like really ancient. Correct. And he was 80 years old that time, yeah, correct? Yeah, Go back to your family mm -hmm. until you help all your brethren inherit that land. Mm -hmm. Okay then. So from 80 years old, I'm going to assume here, Caleb told Joshua, give me that mountain, right? Yes. There's a dilemma, it sounds like to me, where remember him and Joshua and Moses, they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years yes. that time. Now, you know, this guy must be ancient or something. Or maybe he was a kid when this happened. <laughs> and then there's this time gap, correct? So then in total... Uh, so then uh, the verses, I'm going to have, probably have to look it up to get it better. So then there's a time gap. What's that? Joshua 14. Yes, thank you. Okay, so let's look at Joshua 14.10. And then the finale question, if we're going to accumulate all of this, is how many years did it take for them, Israel, to conquer the land? In it. Got it. Okay. And then those, uh, it sounds like to me that you're reading off of one of the last chapters of Joshua, where this nation was given to this tribe, this tribe, correct? Okay, then. So let's look at Joshua 14. Let's look at verse 10. And then uh, that other chapter where it talks about all their conquests, that's going to be Joshua chapter... Let's see, that's not 22. It must be chapter 21, it looks like. Let me see. It looks like Joshua 21. Yeah. So I can see here it's going to be Joshua chapter starting from... Wow. 21, I think. 21 is one of them. That's the Levites. It's going to go from... 15, yeah, it's going to go from chapter, uh, list of the conquered cities, chapter 12. So we see chapter 12 where they conquered, and then chapter 15 all the way to 21, yeah, 15 to 21. It gives a list of all the places that they conquered here. Okay. All right, let's read Joshua 14 first, verse 10. Now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these 40... And five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. So that's pretty much a lot of giveaways over there. So then he's 85 years old this time. But then he already gave a big hint over there previously. Um, He said, the Lord kept me alive, as he said, these 40 and 5 years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses. 
right here. 45 years. So this would include this one then. So then that means, wow, this was a gap right here that was going on with a lot of the action going on with Jericho, AI, yes. and all that. So that's pretty interesting right here. So, I, so then it shows me right here that this is actually, now that I think about it, it's a pretty simple answer. So the accumulation of all this land is a full summary. It's a full summary. So during this time when Caleb gave this statement, it, it is very possible, I think it's even likely, that when you read the chapters of all their conquests, that, this did not, that those chapters did not occur yet. Okay. This statement could have been in the middle of that time, Yes, or even earlier in the middle of that time. Because if you read the Bible, here's a very great example. It is a matter of fact, if you get into homiletics with the Bible, it is a matter of fact that when you study biblical interpretation, as you read the Bible, there's, there are chapters where it gives details and certain chapters that gives a whole account and a summary of everything that happened. For example, Genesis 1 gave the six days of creation and Adam and Eve already created. But then chapter 2, it gets into details where Eve was not even created yet. See that? So chapter 1, before chapter 2, gave you a full account summary and Eve already. But then chapter 2 showed the issue where Eve was not uh, born yet that time. That is a matter of fact throughout the Bible. Because God, He likes to give a full account summary and He likes to give details. And I think that's important for our Christian mindset. A lot of times we don't do that. A lot of times we go by feelings. A lot of times we'll only pay attention to an account summary or specific details. But we don't put the two together. If you look in everyday life in your action about every details that you make and apply scripturally, you can live in victory. But if you also look at a full account summary of the trial that you're going through, how God can use this as a blessing... You can get victory as well. That's a mindset of God, I know. is that he likes to look at a full perspective and specifics. And I think that can be very helpful in your Christian walk as well. Now, concerning this five years of conquest is very, very possible. You might say, how so? Because Caleb, I mean, this guy's a darede daredevil. I mean, like 85, he says, give me that amount. Yeah. If you look back at the beginning when Moses gave that statement, what did Caleb said? We can conquer it right now, these giants and these lands. So you got to realize this. These Jews that time, they were like D-Day doing like really fast, fast conquests, like boom, 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 boom. If Adolf Hitler could conquer that much of Europe within a few years that time, how much more with a smaller portion of land for the Jews with God's power? See that? So this is very, very possible. This is very, very possible. So uh, I don't know how long it took, but I do know this. If you read the book of Judges, there, uh, it gives like three generations or something like that. Yes. That's what it sounds like. So it sounds like there's like a two-generation, three-generation timeline there where they were conquering all these lands, but then they were compromising and then losing it. Yeah, because, I mean, mm -hmm. did, the, did the other guys ever get to go back to their families? Because it mm -hmm. said they couldn't until they helped their brethren inherit their fortune. Uh, in the jo in Joshua where it lists the cities? Uh, no, mm -hmm. not the people. When they asked mm -hmm. to stay on this side, mm -hmm. they said, we don't want to go in the promised land. We want to stay here. Ah, there. Reuben, Reuben and Dan, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. They said, we want to stay here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can stay here, but mm -hmm. you've got to go with them. Correct. So that was many, many uh, years ago. So this was, what happened is their 40 years of wandering were done that time. Okay. So that's why that generation was able to live through that time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was also, it's also important to understand that first generation that lived through Joshua's timeline, they were the ones conquering. Mm -hmm. And that repeats human history. I know this with Bible believers. This generation during Ruckman's time or during Luther's time or the Great Awakening time, they were the ones on fire. But that second generation watered it down. Okay. And then the third generation fully went into apostasy. That's why Ryman has a very good sermon on that in Judges, and he, it's called Three Chairs. I would recommend listening to that sermon. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm.